It's been a bit, but here we are, wrapping things up with SummerSlam approaching. You mean you're not going to follow me around the rest of my career? <sighs> Everything has to come to an end. I mean, I know viewers think they want a super long story that goes on and on forever, but really, isn't something shorter with an actual ending better? It's like, you have this cool experience, and then you can go watch something from the women's division, right? Anyway, we're getting off track. SummerSlam's in LA, of all places. <sighs> I know. It's a chance at redemption on so many levels. I'm back in the main event, but instead of a bunch of empty seats this time, we're the biggest thing in town and it's sold out. It feels good. What about the match stipulation, though? I might be reading into this too much, but are you putting off making a decision because it means the match is officially here, and if you lose, you'll be faced with leaving WWE? I hadn't thought about it like that, but maybe you're right. There is a small part of me that knows, despite how hard I've worked to get here, that it could all come to an end. And that's scary. Makes sense. But what are you going to choose? You're going to have to announce it sooner than later. If you have to know, I'm going to make it a British rules match. It's what got me back on track after I was fired, and as far as I know, Slade's never been in one. It could be a huge advantage. Solid choice. And if this is it, well, it's been fun. And weird. Mostly fun, though. Hope to see you around. Around here, I mean. Yeah. You too, Kat. So final thoughts heading into SummerSlam. Will you walk away champion and end your former friend's WWE career? Or will he somehow overcome the odds and beat the deadline? <laughs> Are those the type of questions you typically ask? If so, I'm glad I haven't wasted my time doing more of these. But if you need an answer, The Lock is going to be looking for a job after SummerSlam. And let's get one thing straight. We were never friends. But I will take this opportunity to thank him. See, if he hadn't been such a failure and blown every opportunity that was handed to him, I might not be where I am today. So thanks for that. Confident, despite the fact that you didn't get to even choose the match stipulation. I don't care what kind of match it is. It could be a blindfold match, a, a, a lumberjack match, or a freaking padlock on a pole match for all I care. They all end the same. I win. Hey, we're on a tight schedule. So we need to make a call, one way or another. <sighs> Understood. No idea why Shawn Michaels' supergroup is assembled here, but I guess we're about to find out. Slade, I know this might be a bit uncomfortable, but it's time to do what we discussed. Bear with us. We have some business to take care of. What is going on here? I have a bad feeling about this. I know we talked this over, but now that we're out here, it doesn't feel right. Slade, we've been over this already. Just do the right thing. I can win the match at SummerSlam. Just give me the chance. It's been decided. We're going with Randy instead. So let's take care of this before it gets any more awkward. I know I can get the job done. I really didn't want to do this in front of the entire world. But if you need me to explain why you can't get the job done, then I will, for starters. The night The Lock returned to WWE, you overruled me by facing it. And then I had to intervene to save your championship. Or how about the time you got beat down backstage, which allowed this SummerSlam match to even happen in the first place? Or more recently, when our factions battled in war games, you lost, allowing the opposition to choose the championship match stipulation. So, if you're not picking up on it, there's a common theme with you lately, losing. But we're not about to lose the most important match in WWE history. 
But you know who's all about winning? And as a proven commodity? The Viper Randy Orton. So Slade, do what you've done your entire career. Be a team player and fall in line. I was not expecting to see this tonight. Me neither. This is flat out wrong. It's either that or we'll make the decision for you. Don't do it, Slade. Come on. You're better than this. No, no, no. He, he's going to do it. This is absolutely disgusting. What a farce. And here comes the referee to count the pinfall. One, what a joke. Two, and Randy Orton is your new WWE Champion. Unbelievable. I never thought we'd see a WWE Championship change hands like this, but here we are. You did the right thing. Look, I'm in shock too, but let's not forget the main event of SummerSlam has just been drastically altered. The challenger had game plan to face Slade, but will now be up against a much different opponent in Randy Orton. I agree, Corey. Beating the deadline was going to be difficult, but it just got significantly harder in my opinion. What do you want? Here to pull another last-minute swerve? No, actually the opposite. I'm proposing a gentleman's agreement. I'll be in Randy's corner and you have your backup and yours. But let's agree to keep the others out of this. No one else from either side gets involved in the match. And you expect me to trust you? I'm not sure I can trust you either. But that's how these things work. Where is this even coming from? Our two sides have battled enough leading up to this. It's time to settle it in the ring, one on one. And after we made the switch to Orton, I was confident we could do that. He doesn't need any extra outside help. Do you? No, I don't. But if you're trying to play some kind of 11th hour mind games, it's not going to work. I'm taking your paper champion's title tonight. We won't have to wait much longer to find out, will we? See you out there. You know, this last minute switch to Orton actually reminds me of the time. I was supposed to face the British Bulldog on WCW Saturday night, but then his dog bit him, so I ended up facing Vader instead. But you rolled with the punches and ended up getting the win? <laughs> oh no, it completely threw me off and I ended up losing in like 45 seconds. Again, you really need to work on your pep talks. To be fair, you've had a better part of a week to prepare, while I only had about an hour. It's much different. I hope so. It is different. And you are too. I've known that since the first time I ever saw you. You had it. That's something special that can't be taught, as separated you from the rest. Sure, there's been setbacks along the way, but they've only made you stronger and prepared you for this very moment. And now that you're at the finish line, they go and move it somewhere else. Big deal. You'll cross that line too. It's what you do. Now go out there and win the bloody match. That was a lot better. Ah, you think so? I thought maybe it's a bit much. No, but the time for talking is over. Like you said, now I just need to go out there and win the damn match. It's the man who's here to beat the deadline. The following contest is a British Rules match and is for the WWE Championship. Introducing the challenger, accompanied by Chosen, from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 206 pounds, yeah. Thunder S. Jack Raiden. Only Randy Orton 
he stands between the former Rock and the WWE Championship he's wanted for so long. Don't forget Shawn Michaels, Saxton. He's got just as much to lose as anybody. Nobody's got more to lose than the challenger, Corey. This could be his final match in WWE. This is it. Time for one man to fulfill his WWE destiny or kiss it all goodbye. It's one of the greatest to ever lace them up. WWE Champion, Randy Orton. And introducing the champion, accompanied by Shawn Michaels, representing Evolution from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Nobody loves the big stage more than the Viper, and it doesn't get any bigger than this. No, it doesn't. There's a reason Randy Orton will go down as one of the best to ever do it, especially if he adds one more SummerSlam victory to his resume tonight. It's time for a new chapter in WWE, but only one of these larger-than-life superstars will write it. Ring that bell. That's what it's all about, the WWE Championship. The challenger wanted this opportunity, now he's got it. Well, it's always fun to go to the zoo until you fall into the lion's den. The challenger had better sharpen his teeth. The chaotic road to SummerSlam has all led to this. One of the most anticipated matches in WWE history for the WWE Championship. But it's more than that, Cole. It's a match between a WWE superstar who left to find himself and came back to win a WWE Championship and a living legend looking to cement his legacy as one of WWE's all-time greats. And don't forget the greats joining them, like Hall of Famer Shawn Michaels, who has as much to lose tonight as anyone. Well, I'd much rather lose my pride than my chin, which is what the challenger's looking at if he loses tonight's British Rules match. No matter how you look at it, this one's huge, and it's happening here at SummerSlam right now. Uh oh! Counters the Viper's attack. Probably not going to win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Unmitigated demonstration. Billy Goat's curse is broken! Oh, impressive counter. Look at this combination of strikes. This relentless. The champ getting put to the test here. Oh, kick right in the gut. Ooh, what a damaging blow. Elbow drop right on point. Wrenches the arm. Ooh, nasty kick. Oh, he knew what was coming. Look at this. DDT. Kneeling. This is it. Shoulder up before the count started. 
Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. There he goes, right into the corner. the strike and he counters with the headlock backbreaker vintage Randy Orton Orton's clearly in control now it looks like he's trying for a top rope hung DDT his opponent's doing everything he can to counter and here comes Shawn Michaels with the assist but Shawn gets taken out and now the challenger has an opening Orton charges drop to hold into the corner meanwhile Broken loose at ringside. It looks like there'll no longer be a factor in this match. This is now truly one on one. Or is it? Slade is here. What happened to the gentleman's agreement? It's out the window, clearly. The challenger's in big trouble here. Okay, oh, Randy Orton. What the hell? Did that just happen? Apparently, Slade hasn't gotten over being replaced. And that could be enough to end this. Orton kicks out. I thought that was it. So did the challenger, but it's going to take a lot more than that to put away the Viper. Earth shaking power slam. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Close to three. Oh, sharp knee. Orton able to counter. Kick to the midsection prevents the attack. Elbow drop right on point. Letting his opponent know he can take on the world right now. Wobbly in the corner. Answering back. Captures the clothesline. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. <laughs> Moonsault. Bang. <laughs> Leg sweep. Sent on the follow. withstand this attack. And Orton needs to bring the match back to his pace. Saw it coming and got out of there. He's going for the pin. This could be it. A kick out before won by the challenger. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Ah, oh, look at this. Just cranking it out. Just cranking it. And this is a fall. Oh, the close line. Forcefully delivered. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's a free fall. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Now that is why they're the champ. Two. The champion thought that was it. Simply refusing to let this opportunity slip away. And who knows if there'll be another shot. Yet you can't give up now. Orton is going to have to keep his composure moving forward. He thought he'd put him down with that one, and now he's got to think of another way. He did it! Not only is he the new WWE Champion, but he beat the deadline and is officially here to stay. Not to interrupt the victory celebration, but Shawn Michaels is back. Maybe to do that exact thing. It's over. You lost. Just give the man his due for once.
looks to be a small sign of respect from Michaels to the new champ. Maybe they can finally put all this behind them and move on. Much of the criticism he faced earlier in his career centered around his inability to work with others. So it was fitting that tonight it came down to just him and Orton in the ring. One on one. No one else to rely on but himself. What the heck? That's Sami Zayn! The new champion was just blindsided with the Money in the Bank briefcase. Is Sami cashing in? He is! It's official! We have a second impromptu WWE Championship match at SummerSlam. I can't believe this is happening. He beat the deadline, but he might not walk out of here champion. Up, everybody, because we might be witnessing one of the most electrifying cash-ins in WWE history and one of the craziest SummerSlams of all time. Sami Zayn has shocked not only the brand new WWE Champion, but he's shaking the WWE Universe to its core. Myself included, could somebody please pick my job off the floor so I can call this match? You're on your own, Corey. It's Sami Zayn versus the newly minted WWE Champion for the title right now. And just look at the damage to Zayn's face after that shot. Whip, but Sammy reverses. Oh, the newly minted champion hit hard. And Sammy Zayn looks to capitalize. He's setting up for the Haluva kick. This could be it. He moved. He dodged the Haluva kick. With the roll up. Two, three, will do it. He successfully defended his WWE Championship after Sammy Zayn's shocking cash in. Sammy Zayn can't believe it. He thought he picked the perfect moment to cash in. And there goes Sammy. Thanks for coming out. And now the champion's faction has come out to congratulate their leader. We talked about how the champion wanted to do everything himself when he first got to WWE, but he wouldn't be experiencing any of this if he hadn't learned to be part of a team and eventually lead one. Some of these men may now be looking for an opportunity to face the new champion, but for tonight at least, it's time to soak this all in and enjoy the moment. And there you see Slade, who had his share of ups and downs with the new champion after being dropped from the title match tonight, but still making his presence known. He may also be looking for redemption, but for now, it seems as if he's willing to give his former ally the respect he deserves. Good, because I don't think we or our champion can withstand another impromptu match. Let the man celebrate. He's earned it. He certainly has, Corey. Thank you once again for joining us at SummerSlam. Good night, everybody. Was he stubborn? Definitely. Like right up there with the best of them, including yours truly. And things definitely didn't go as planned. I mean, I haven't been in management for too long. But even I know it's not the intention to fire a top prospect and then go to war with them after they force their way back into WWE. But at the end of the day, we trusted the process and the results speak for themselves. He lived up to his potential, didn't he? We said he was a future champion, and now he is. We weren't wrong. Did he color outside the lines a bit on his way there? Yes. But that's what the best stars do that I really do uh, sorry but I wasn't actually recording yet do you mind saying all of that again clearly you must have heard of chosen one of the greatest indie restaurants in all of Japan and not to mention all of the world I'm also quite well respected on social media what are you doing here WWE brought me in to have a match on the show tonight. I'm always happy to compete on whatever stage gets me more attention. Hey, I've been looking around for an old friend. I think you know him by his WWE name, The Rock. Haven't heard of him. Sorry. Ah, that's right. He's signed to Raw. So you might not have met him. Interesting fellow. If you do get a chance to meet, say hello for me. And as long as I have you, next time you come to Japan, don't create such public stare with your partner. It's really been distracting the local dirt sheets away from more interesting topics, like me. Whatever, Chosen. 